Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are actually playing a different game. We're going to be doing some red zone skinning in Albion Online. We're going to be going to the Sabertooth Den. Looking for... Hopefully looking for some Sabertooth Cubs. So how is everybody doing doing today? I've been playing KSP2 a little bit, but there's too many bugs right now. I just can't get into it. So I've just been trying out other games. Expect to see a couple other games on the channel coming, you know, coming down the pipe. But uh, I'll keep up the KSP2 content as well. Mostly when there's big updates, like when they actually add the dev dev system, then I'll get back in. I mean, I guess I haven't actually done a whole lot in it yet, even in the existing system, but I've just, I've already played, you know, the first game, so I'm not super interested in, like, basically playing the same game, but with more bugs. Um, so anyway. By the way, guys, when you come in here, if you play Albion, by the way, join my guild if you're in Albion. Um, when you come in here, don't be faction flagged, or just be careful if you are faction flagged, because faction flagged gankers will sit right here on the uh, on the bridge, and it's pretty. Um, oh wait, let me eat my food. It's pretty uh, pretty nasty. They've killed me. They basically, they faction flag for Limhurst or Martlock or whatever. They hoof it all the way over here, and then they sit right there in the middle. And if you're faction flagged, which, you know, I watched Swole Binge, so I thought that, you know, farming while faction flag is the way to go. But if you are faction flagged, this number right down here will not... They will not show you the amount of hostile faction flag players. So it'll say zero, but there might be gankers on this map. They're just, they're only going to be able to gank you if you're faction flagged. It's not going to make a lot of sense if you don't play Albion, but that's basically the gist of it. Right now, I'm relatively safe because it's it says zero. It says there's no players, so. Sabertooth Den is not the worst place to farm because, as we just saw, we, we found a couple Sabertooths that were had not been skinned in a while. Obviously, what we want is to come here during off hours and get some babies because I believe that the babies, they have a chance to spawn one per hour. Damn, it looks like someone's been through here recently. Someone's already been through. <clears throat> that sucks. I thought this was a pretty good time to log on. It's literally, um, damn, an enchanted one, too. It's literally like 9 o'clock a.m. in Florida, so. literally here at the fucking break of dawn. All the tryhards are in bed. They just went to bed 15 minutes ago. This is a nice relaxing game, honestly. I really like to play this game to just chill and relax, which I've been... Inc increasingly gaming to just relax more because like life with kids I have two kids by the way I don't know if I told you guys I had it my wife had another baby so I'm at two now um, life with kids is already stressful enough you know so why do I want to play Warzone and get mad you know I guess this game can make you mad too like we could die but I don't know, for some reason it doesn't make me as mad in this game. Even though this set is like 200k. It's like a 200k set. I mean, we're not like... We're not going to be happy if we die. 
especially um, since we're starting to get a little bit of hide in our inventory, you know. So I like the hide animal poison because I don't have blood letter leveled up yet. And so I do no damage with it at all. So I need the hide animal poison. So I just have invis pot to kind of make up for not having the uh, having the ambush ambush skill as my R. So I mean, this place was farmed recently, but not too recently because we still found a bunch of um, you know still found a bunch of healthy saber tooths, you know. I also like the Sabertooth Den because it's literally all hide mobs. And there's no neutral mobs at all. So you don't ever... Like if I'm in my hide set, the neutral mobs will kind of fuck me up. You know, like straight up, they'll kind of kill me. So, you know, I kind of don't really want to fight them when I'm in my full hide skinning set, you know. Let's see what's up here. Hey! Got a baby for me? A bunch of babies. I literally came here the other day, yesterday, and got four babies. And it was around this time. But it looks like... Maybe I need to come an hour earlier. Yeah, the babies, I mean, the other day, so I was skinning doing this, and I hit 300k in my inventory, like, super fast in, like, 30 minutes, because I literally got four babies. And each baby, the estimated market value is 50k, so it was like, I got 100k in hide and 200k in babies. So there are definitely some situations where you can get more babies if they like haven't been farmed in a while. Uh, I think we've pretty much checked everything out here. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna head and head to the actual zone. Again, there's nobody here. And faction flagged gankers don't count. So this place is controlled by Fort Sterling. But um no, I don't care. I am a ride or die for Bridgewatch kind of guy. But, um... You know, like right now, I'm, I'm good. Like, Bridgewatch can fight their own battles right now. That's like 10k right there. Just that little seasonal item. Yeah, keep... Keep it, I mean, you know, if you're not watching this video during, like, the two months that the spring, the Rites of Spring event is going on, then that's not going to really apply to you. But do keep an eye out for seasonal items and shit, because it's, it's generally worth a lot of money. Only one hide, huh? I mean that's worth a good two two or three K. Forget what exactly. Looks like someone's been static farming here. Or I don't know if the correct term is static farming with these mobs. But they've just been sitting here farming this uh, this spawn point. I know there's a couple other places where the hyenas spawn. Oh, this guy. And that's how you do that. 
this guy uh didn't want to give him a chance to grab that out of my uh so there is one hostile here now so we gotta like watch out he might straight up be on discord with his buddy like bro come kill this guy come kill this guy right now who knows so we just gotta keep our eyes open we do kind of have we're, we are set up to kind of escape um if need be but at the end of the day yeah, oh, the ganker's over there and looks like he died so now it's zero so looks like he actually got killed got a hyena right there let's go grab him got two hyenas Two ticks. Two ticks to scan on him. We can go creep this chest. Um, it's really risky in red zones, though, because, I mean, you're, like, going towards other players. There's five hostiles. I might need to get the fuck out. Of course, that could be... I don't know if when you enter the PvP zone around the chest, if that counts as being hostile. So we're just going to go the other way, because, I don't know. It's kind of sketch. I mean... Couldn't hurt to just look. What if there's nobody there? If we see a bunch of red names, we just turn around. That's all we do. It's that easy. It's got two minutes to, to tick up, though. That's way too long. There's gonna be people here. I mean, I'll keep it in mind. Maybe I'll come back around in two minutes. That mob's too close to neutral mobs. I'll take this one. Now there's zero. So I guess those were a bunch of <clears throat> gankers just like passing through. I always accidentally get on my mount. So we'll, you know, in two minutes, like we'll, uh, or in about one minute, I guess it is at this point, we'll go look. And just see what's up. Maybe this kid wants to party up. Declined. If you party up, you share the contents of the chest. So you can't exactly steal it right out from under them, but... Can we party up? Kill me. Uh, he's like, I'm gonna kill you if you come, if you try to get this chest. Fair enough, bro. Yeah, so those guys wanted that chest. Maybe they're gonna 1v1 or something for it, but I'm in my hide skinning set. If I had been in my, like, you know, dungeon gear, then actually I would have been stronger than those guys. Even my corrupted dungeon gear, I would have been able to kill those guys. At least one of them. Oh, really? And I fucked up. I totally forgot that that's how my... Totally forgot that's how that my ability worked. It's fine. I think I can kill this one. Yeah, I'm not like that weak. I forgot that my E is, is the dagger E and not the sword E, so I was like, I was engaging with my E instead of using it as an execute, I'm an idiot. Sword E is, is an engage, at least the dual sword E is. I mean, on neutral mobs it is. For PvP, you're probably better off not using it as an engage. 
using it as like a chase or a finisher. Um, really, we're looking for hyenas, ideally. Damn, that sucks. Direwolves are also a good um, mob farm. Damn, I kind of went close to these guys. Not too close there. Getting super lucky with see some red names up there. A whole squad of gankers. What if I skin this hide though. Could have got those two, but I'm sketched out by all the. Oh, never mind, they're gone. All right. Almost 100k. We'll journey back at 100k. I'm not necessarily going to sell it either because I want to eventually like focus refine it and then like focus craft it and get like the most money out of it. zero gankers if this one has I mean if it has five that would put us at 100k but it's most definitely not gonna have five ticks journey home 4k it's cheap kill this one after I'm not getting any uh, plus one gather bonus plus one premium bonus a little closer at any second a bear paw ganker could come running out i mean actually what they like to do is kill these high tier animals and then just sit you know just out of sight and wait for like someone like me to come up 
try to skin it. Schmucks. Or maybe I'm the schmuck, who knows. Alright, that put us almost at 100k. Let's kill one more hide mob and head out. eat the 4k yeah that's fine I guess also my skinning knife counts towards that total so it wasn't uh, you know but it's still fairly profitable I mean when dungeons get boring this is interesting you know it seemed boring because we didn't actually get ganked but when you get ganked it's quite fun so anyway thanks so much for watching guys if you do play this game come join my guild we do have an island can use oh, our island. It's a tier four. Alright, thanks everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.